I told you back when we played with reptiles that Gentis Charm is my long-haired dachshund go-to. And guess what? Here we are. She's well known not only for golden retrievers, but also whippets and dachshunds because she handles them all and has for many years. She's going to share the supplies behind the grooming secrets on this super fun breed, and we get to meet Whiskey, a pretty cool dude himself. Peeps, you know the drill. I'm on the road filming more and more grooming episodes, so keep making those requests and I'll keep adding them to the list. The more merchandise you buy, the more I get to get on the road and travel to add more episodes, so thank you in advance for your support. Comment below on what breeds you'd like to see, like and share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. That way you can ring the bell and you won't miss one single episode. So these are the products I use to groom my dachshunds. I was told by my dachshund breeder that dachshunds are grooming wise a mesh between a golden retriever and a setter. Okay. So I've kind of, I've shown both breeds. I have goldens and have had them for many, many years, but I've kind of taken both and come up with my own style. And this is what I have come up with for what I like to groom them. Uh, I do like the clean start and after bath. Chris Christensen shampoo and conditioners. Um, I was told by Chris Christensen himself that you can dilute this 16 to one to make it last longer. And it leaves them smelling wonderful, nice clean coat, strips any product, any dirt, grease, grime, anything out of their coat. So you starting with a good fresh coat. Does not strip out essential oils and the things that need to be there. Uh, the after bath does seal the coat and lock in all those things that you need to be there to get the correct coat tight. This is what I use to dilute my shampoo, just uh, water and then an ounce of the Clean Start. Uh, this is just any ear cleaner. Um, I got this one from work. I do work at a veterinary clinic when I'm not doing the dog show thing. So pick this one up from work just to clean the ears. I'm standard old hair dryer. Do you recommend like the ceramic? I do. I do like the ceramics. It makes drying time faster. Uh, with heavy coated dogs, I have long hair dachshunds. I have the goldens. I can completely blow dry a golden in 45 minutes with everything I use, which is um, not easy to do. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, yeah, that's a, that's a lot and of my, hair. My golden has tons of coat too. So. I do like a greyhound comb for combing through coat and kind of laying things flat and you'll see as I groom. Um, these are the brass. Again, this is these are all, the Greyhound comb is not, but these are all Christensen products, these brushes. Uh, so small slicker brush to do the feet. This is one of the brass bristled brushes mm -hmm. with the- The bore, the bore, yeah. No, these are brass. Oh, these are brass, okay, these yeah. These are the brass ones. Yep, okay. Um, I like this, it really makes coat shine. Really, really like it. And uh, oblong. These are brush. these are these are the new ones. Yes. Which have I different. Which one is this? Do you know? This is the. Is it hard soft? Is it hard is soft medium or medium? One. That's medium. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, depending on your dog, you've got quite a bit of coat to get through. Right. So the soft one, it seems to take forever. I really, really like this. The comb. medium. Okay. Yeah, comb. It's not a comb. It's, it's not brush. brush. It's alright. My coffee never kicked in this morning. Um. I do use a clipper on the bottom of feet to get nice clean feet and nice clean lines. And then I'm not sure with whiskey, we may use these um, Coat Kings to strip out some extra coat. He's pretty loaded with coat right now. Um, this is my, these are my scissors. I generally use two scissors. I use my thinning shears and then my smaller straight shear. Okay. I like the shorter ones because I feel I have more control and keep it real tight around the feet to make clean up the feet real nice and tight. Okay. And then I prefer the uh, thinning shears with more teeth. You see less scissor marks. In okay. Those. All right. So, and then, oh, my force dryer. This helps me to get these dogs dry as quick as possible. This one is nice. It does have heat and it could blast your teeth out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> so. Granted, she may not use a lot of products, but there's a lot that goes into grooming the long-haired dachshund. So, come back next week and watch her put all of these supplies to work and learn how to make this breed look its best while it rocks the show ring or the living room. But before we go, Jenna's going to show us exactly what she was talking about when it comes to diluting that Clean Start shampoo. Enjoy. Again, I use 16 to 1, 1 ounce of shampoo to 16 ounces of water. And you just take this with your kitchen sink. 
And I do have one of those crazy kitchen sinks that you don't have to touch to turn it on. So with this bottle, 16 ounces is right about there. I have used and destroyed many of these bottles, so I've just learned where the mark <laughs> is on it. <laughs> and then I take my shampoo and squeeze it until the water comes up, up to, to the, the neck. Yep. And then put the lid on. And if you don't have a cap, shake carefully, put your finger over it and shake it well. And that'll definitely do two dachshunds, one golden. Oh, wow. About okay. 12 whippets. <laughs> Maybe, because they have no hair. So <laughs> we're going to go torture a dachshund now. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> dachshund torture, huh? All right, whiskers. Come on, let's go. Not you. No, no.